Hello and welcome to STEM Club. In this week's STEM Club, we've got a brilliant investigation for you, investigating rockets. <laughs> ah, that's really good. All you will need for this week's experiment is a pot with a lid that you can pop on and off, so not a screw top one. But you can also find other things around your house maybe. I've also got this small test tube, which again has got a little lid you can pop on and off. So that's the first thing you need. And you will also need some fizzy tablets. These are everescent tablets, so they fizz when you add water to them because they've got bicarbonate of soda and citric acid in them as dry powders. And when you mix them with water, they react together and fizz, releasing carbon dioxide. So you'll need some of those as well. And you probably want to do this experiment outside. Because I'm not outside, I'm going to use a bowl to contain my mess. So all you want to do is get one of your tablets, I'm going to break it in half and put it in the lid of my pot and then I'm going to measure out 10 millilitres of water. So I'm going to do it the same each time I do this experiment. So I'm going to start with 10 and I've got a little syringe to measure that out with. So that's 10 millilitres of water and then all I'm going to do is put the lid on. Now when you do this you want to make sure the lid goes on really nice and tight so it doesn't um, already pop off and then stand back. Ah! <laughs> so good. Let's explain some of the science behind this. A long time ago there was a person called Isaac Newton and he studied many things including all the forces around us such as gravity and he made up some laws to do with forces and Newton's third law is that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. So can you think about what the action might be with our rocket blast off? And then what is the reaction that's happened to that? So the action is the fact we've got the fizzing and the gases and the bottom of our rocket flies away. Just like when a rocket launches and you can see this massive blast off. So that's the action. And the reaction then that happens in equal to that is the fact our small rocket gets launched up into space. So all rockets work exactly the same way like this. So for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So it is equal and it's opposite. So it's the same amount, but it's going in the opposite direction. So because we've got all our blasts going down, that means the rocket's going to fly up. And this is a brilliant way to investigate forces. Now we've done our investigation, you could do some further observations and do a full investigation. Remember, in a science experiment, you just want to change one thing and measure one thing. So you could try changing the amount of water you're adding each time. You could try changing the amount of fizzy tablet you add each time. You could try changing the container you use. But remember to keep everything else the same in your experiment. So let's try changing the amount of water I use and seeing if that makes a difference to how long it takes for the rocket to blast off. So you could time how long it takes to blast up or you could even measure how high it goes. You might want to do it in front of something so you can measure it or record it on your phone so you could see how high the rocket goes each time. Right, this is two millilitres of water. Yeah! Let's see what happens now with four millilitres. It's four millilitres. Four millilitres, go! Yay! Yay! Oh, interesting, that wasn't as high that time though. Okay, and then we'll try six millilitres. Okay, this is six millilitres of water. Oh, that one didn't pop up very much at all, though it did pop, so that's interesting. So actually with less water, it popped more. So this is a brilliant experiment for you to try at home. This time I'm going to change the surface area of the tablet, so I'm going to break it into smaller pieces and see if that affects the reaction time. So again, in order to make this a fair test, we want to use the same amount, so we're still using half a tablet each time, but this time I'm breaking it into smaller bits. Way! We've got it working now. Okay, so now I've put in four bits of tablet. It's 
There you go, go, go. Ah! Ah! That was really good now. So actually that is making a big difference to our height. Thank you so much for joining me this week as we have made our own fizzy powered rockets. Do share what you've been up to in our Home Educators Facebook group. You'll find the link below to our STEM club. And we look forward to seeing you again soon for more STEM fun. Going! <laughs> Didn't give me that one. <laughs>